UNC Charlotte junior Timothy Mulligan recently directed the documentary film Hope. In 2012, Timothy's mother Jenny was diagnosed with brain cancer. In an effort to raise money and awareness for brain cancer research, her sister Maria biked from California to Maryland in the race across America. Timothy and his brother Charlie and a few close friends documented that journey and turned the story into a full-length film. 3,000 Miles to a Cure is an organization that I helped begin in October of 2012 after I discovered that my mom was diagnosed with brain cancer. My aunt, myself, my brother, and a few of our closest friends decided that we really needed to do something to go against the terrible thing that we had discovered about my mom, that she really didn't have long to live and that there weren't that many options for what we could do about it. The mission of 3,000 Miles to a Cure is to raise funds for research to end brain cancer by extending an invitation to unite and hope and action for the cure. For me, that looks like contributing all the free time I have and talking to all of my friends and really getting passionate about all the different opportunities we have to create a really cool project, a really cool organization to find that cure. And the, one of the ways that we've been doing that is through a project called Hope. It's a documentary film, a full-length documentary film about my aunt's journey across America. My aunt is a world record endurance bicyclist. Uh, she helped us co-found the organization. In June of 2013, she set out to set a world record by racing across America in the race across America. As I've started working on this project, this film project, several other students at UNC Charlotte have really been a big part of that. Some of my closest friends go to school here and have really helped us from the ground up build a really solid understanding of how to be effective on social media or how to build a really good film, even if it takes a really small team of hardworking individuals. My brother, who is also a co-founder of 3000 Miles to a Cure, helped start the organization. He's uh, graduated a few years ago and he's now in finance, but he's used those skills that he's built up while here at UNC Charlotte to help us build a strong foundation for 3000 Miles to a Cure. Being a student here at UNC Charlotte and being the director of a documentary film aren't, isn't an easy thing to balance. It's taken a lot of work and time management skills to be able to do it, but I feel really grateful for the fact that a lot of what I've been doing while working on the film has really carried over to my studies here at UNC Charlotte. This film means more to me than I can really describe because it's been the product of year, over a year of work of filming and recording and traveling and editing and post-production and writing meetings and gathering everyone together and really I feel lucky because much of what we got to do was film my mom and work with my mom and talk to my mom and get really her essence and her character and her personality captured on film that I'm really thankful that I'll be able to take with me forever. And whether this film ends up being the most famous film in the world or just something that I get to watch in 20 years and remember what was important to my mom and remember what was important to my aunt at that time, and that's really the most important thing to me. I'm a cyclist and an athlete, and I've been doing, you know, running and cycling events for a long time, and I, uh, and I ride a recumbent bike, and for fun, for a few years, I've been setting records on it. On September 27th, 2012, I was diagnosed with brain cancer. Once Jenny was diagnosed, uh, I wanted to do something hard, something to hit back, really. So we decided to race across America. But uh, yeah, no, I wanted to win.